up, guys? Hey. Back with another reaction. Mm -hmm. What are we doing today? So today we're going to do one of my other favorite Nine Inch Nails songs, Head Like a Hole. Okay, I know this. You do? Not well. Okay. Um, you just, like, have heard it? Yeah, I know. I remember it got popular again after um, Black Mirror. Yes, I forgot about that. Um, Miley Cyrus covered it. Yeah. She got permission from Trent Reznor, apparently. Mm-hmm interesting I forgot about that but yeah so <laughs> i know the chorus i don't think i could tell you a single word of any of the verses though okay yeah sounds good and then there's just some little backstory on it that like i could i will not be able to remember for the life of me so like really quick the song title is attributed to an al jurgensen quote from a 1987 ministry concert as is the band's name Quote, listening to ministry is like having a nine-inch nail hammered into your head like a hole. Quote. So I just thought that was really interesting to share. They both come from the same line. <laughs> yeah. And this was also a throwaway song written by Reznor. Like, all the other songs took a very long time to write. This one he wrote in 15 minutes. It's interesting. And it's literally one of their biggest. Yeah. Yeah. So... Let's check it out. Oh, wait. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. So, pull up the... the duh, pull up the lyrics on your phone. Okay. And you at home pull up the lyrics on your phone, because this is the best video that I could find. And it the font that whoever made this video used, like, you're good for you for having, like, the only good quality version of the song on YouTube, but, like, the font you used for this video is abominable. It's funny. Well, I, you're not going to be able to read anything. Okay, so let me just... Okay. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow us on all social media channels. The link's in the description below. And our username's right here. Sorry, that probably sounds so scripted because it is. But yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Real quick, someone was an asshole and decided to make a comment on one of our last videos that me singing along to the song is annoying. So I hope Get you enjoy yourself because I'm going to sing this whole fucking song. <laughs> okay. So let's go over the lyrics. God money, I'll do anything for you. God money, just tell me what you want me to. God money, nail me up against the wall. God, money, don't want everything. He wants it all. So, when you say God, money, I think you're talking about, like, a large amount of money. Like, probably someone who, like, makes a ton of money. No, so I think of it as the way, like, people say Lord Jesus. I think they're saying God. 
No, no, no. So like God money, meaning money is the God. Money is God, and you're referring to him as God money, just as people would say, like, oh, Lord Jesus. Do you know what I mean? Okay. So like that. That makes sense. God money. So essentially just, like, take the word God out. Yeah, exactly. So they'll do anything for money. Just tell them what you want them to do. Nail them up against the wall. They don't want everything they want at all. So he'll do literally anything for money to the point where you can literally take complete and full advantage of him. Like you nail someone up against the wall, you kind of, you are at (laughs) whomever's mercy. Yeah. And they don't want everything they want at all. Like literally Mm -hmm. all of the things. Okay. So it goes, no, you can't take it. Oh, I should like push through here. Oh, yeah, if we're not doing it, you don't even have to scroll in this. Yeah, that's true. I don't remember where we were, so I'll just do it anyway. So he goes, no, you can't take it. No, you can't take it. No, you can't take that away from me. So what are we talking about with that, though? Like, What does that mean to you? Is it the money? Is it the God money? Um... Maybe I don't think it would be the money. Well, you can't handle it when he says you can't take it. Well, no, because then he goes, No, you can't take that away from me. Interesting. Is there an annotation? I, okay, so if we go into the chorus, head like a whole, black as your soul, I'd rather die than give you control. I think it means you can't take my control away, which is funny because in the beginning, he's pretty much describing giving up all control for money. Yeah. So, let's see. Or he's speaking as, like, people in charge, like, sort of, like, quoting people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, people who will do anything for money. That's kind of the vibe I get, I think. So, I'm reading where I have Lyric Genius pulled up. And there is an annotation, but I'm not sure I understand what they're saying. Um, Yeah, they're saying those in control seek to pry freedom from the filthy hands of the subjects. And then it just goes on that. So no, you can't take it. No, you can't take it away from me. So whoever annotated this is interpreting this as no, you can't take my freedom away from me. Yeah, that's what I think. Sort of like you can't take my control away from me, meaning you can't control me. Yeah. And maybe the verse one, like with God, money and everything is about, um, because the people in control, they're the ones who want that. They want all the money. They want everything. Yeah. So I think it's like sort of like speaking as them, because even in the last line, he goes, don't want everything. He wants it all. Yeah. So maybe. Let's keep going. Yeah. And then the chorus. Yeah. We're going into that. Um, so head like a hole, black is your soul. So your brain is empty if your head's like a hole and your head's black and your soul's black. Like there's em- like if you had if your whole the bleh, if the whole inside of your head was black, like it would pretty be like hollow. Mm-hmm. Like you don't have the brain in there. Yeah. Like you shine a light in there, there'd be nothing in there. Yeah. And then also your soul is black in addition to you know, your empty head that has the hole in it. So you're dumb and, like, cold-hearted. So it's, like, black as coal. Yeah. And I'd rather die than give you control. So he doesn't want to give up some control to the people in power or anyone, pretty much anyone who's, like, extremely, extremely wealthy has some sort of power, whether it be, like, political power, like, financial power, like... Religious power, yeah. No, so so you're right. I do believe you're right that when you said... Uh, give up the control that reflects back to no you can't take it you can't take it away from me yeah i think you're right about that and then he goes into hold on let me switch it back to here in case you are reading this horrific font <laughs> bow down before the one you serve you're going to get what you deserve so i think he's talking to all the people who are super rich and in power like bow down before the one that you serve which would i think might be the devil or like the illuminati okay so right like maybe but so there's a few ways you can interpret this so if he's talking about politicians right politicians are supposed to be the ones serving us 
<laughs> so if he's saying bow down before the one you serve, you can interpret it that way. Like you have to bow down before us and you're going to get what you deserve. Meaning, do you know what I mean? He's telling them to bow down before us because we're going to come after you and you're going to get what you deserve. But Interesting. Yeah, I take it as bow. Like if you're in that position of power and all you care about is money, you're greedy, you're a piece of shit. I mean, you're not going to go to heaven if there is a heaven or a hell. You're not going there. You're going to hell if you're really a piece of shit the way he's describing. And the one that you serve is the devil. And you're going to get what you deserve. the god of money. Yeah. Which could be evil. And it's an, it's an yeah. idol. It's an idol if you look at it. True. Biblically. It's not god god. Yeah. For sure. It's, yeah, it's a false idol. Money. Yeah. So it's so funny. I am so – I know nothing about the song other than the chorus. And I always thought that it was sexual innuendo. The head like a whole part, like – a hole like engulfs you so i thought he was saying like a girl that gives head and it's like a hole because it just you know like sucks him and then the bow down before the one you'd serve i thought it was an obvious like another blowjob reference <laughs> interesting but i never thought of it like that i don't know if it's because i'm you know <laughs> the other song i know by them is closer oh yeah so i, I feel like oh that's where their mind is <laughs> you know what i mean i don't but i always thought it was sexual in innuendo but it doesn't seem like that like at all like not even a little bit no that is interesting because <laughs> i never ever thought of that yeah interesting Very that's where we left off though right um yeah we were like right here Like there's just like one little part to go over here and then we'll play it out. So it's God money's not looking for the cure. So it's like very common theory that the medical companies aren't actually looking for cures because if you sell someone a cure, that's it. Yeah, they only <laughs> buy your shit once. Yeah, you sell someone medicine that they're going to need for the rest of their life. You've got a lot of money in your pocket. Yeah. Um, God money is not concerned about the sick among the pure. So if we're going to put pure in quotes, then I guess the pure would be like the other rich people, the other people in their social class, people they associate with. And they're not concerned about the sick. I guess they mean like sick, suffering, poor. Yeah, that's why I think like pure just means not sick. I think he's being an he's being like sarcastic by saying pure. Yes, by saying they're pure. all they are just people that who aren't sick. But like you're saying, he's being so ironic yeah, and sarcastic yeah. referring to him as pure. It's like, like tongue in cheek because like, yes. oh yeah, they're not pure. No. You know. And then we go, God money, let's go dancing on the backs of the bruise. <laughs> so he's speaking as one of the um the elites, these rich people mm -hmm. who control everything. So the backs of the bruise would be like, I would assume everybody underneath them. And I feel like that's also something like Satan would say. Yeah, the it's, devil. it's evil. Yeah. I think God money is also Satan. Yeah, it's a false idol, which inherently means it's not God. It's not the real God, you know, at least biblically. Yeah. And then the interesting part is God money's not one to choose. So that tells me like 
yes, like you guys are in power, you're controlling the people beneath you. But once I'm able to have you, you're going to be at my mercy as well. Yeah. So that's that, what I think. It's like. No, I think, no, I think you're right. The annotation on that one line is there's no discrimination by the condition or type of people that God money seeks to extort. All are required to sacrifice regardless of inhibition for the benefit of those in control. So yeah, it doesn't care. He'll take, you know, anybody who's willing to, you know, do its bidding and get money, you exactly. know, that doesn't care. So fuck. Okay. I will just make a quick yeah. note that, so they refer to head like a whole, black is your soul as the chorus, and then the bow down before the one you serve as the post chorus. In my mind, I feel like the bow down before, I would consider it as that's the chorus and then the right. head like a whole is a pre-chorus. I consider head like the whole of the chorus. Because I feel like, I mean, you're right. That's what it says here. But I feel like the bow down before the one you serve is the catchy part of the song. Really? Yes. When I think of the song, I think of head like a whole. Well, yeah. I mean, that is the name of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's play this out. So there's nothing to actually go over there because yeah, it's just repeating it. the course in the post chorus or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, what do you think? It's good. I like I said, I I never really knew the uh, the chorus, I, the verses. Sorry, I only really knew the chorus and the post chorus, as they call it. Um. It's cool. It's interesting. I never actually considered what the song was about. Yeah. And like the last time we did Nine Inch Nails reaction, I always forget that they. I'm impressed and I like that in their music they have like this electronic sound that yeah, I that's never Yeah, like what they're known for. It's what kind of sets them apart from other bands. I know it's so unique. I never realized it. I just thought they were, you know, like hard rock, you know. Yeah, no. I don't even know what that's called. It's like electronic. Like, yeah, it's metal. Yeah, I guess. Electro metal? Yeah, I'm, I'm not making sure. things up. Let me know if you guys know. Yeah. But there's also one part in the instrumental portion there where it sounds like someone's talking in the background. I have no idea what's being said and I've never been able to find out what that is. If you know, let us know. Yeah, I don't know. It is interesting how the song starts off so quiet. Like, I don't know if you saw, I had to raise the volume on our <laughs> earbuds, which we never do. This was also not the best quality. So, yes. It was the best we could find. So, no, it wasn't the best, but I raised the volume. It sounded, it was good enough, but then the volume in the song gets louder later. So yeah. it's like it was like an intentional thing. Again, the quality is probably not the best, so no. it doesn't sound as good. But <laughs> the song itself does seem to increase in volume later. Yeah. yeah. But I love this song. Yeah, it's I'm good. Happy that you like it. But yeah. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. See ya.